All right, hello everybody. Uh, welcome uh, back to the Age of Stream. Uh, we're going to be fighting more robots today. Uh, it is the final week of the Kickstarter. Not quite. There's like nine days left as of this recording. But uh, we're going to uh, yeah, be playing this game and it's going to be awesome. So... <laughs> We're, uh, yeah, like nine, nine days left. We're up to, we're going towards $82,000 right now. That's our next stretch goal. Uh, and that will unlock a fourth solo boss for the game. That's really cool. Uh, it's a giant orb. I want to show that off. It's a cool robot. Um, and, uh, and where I coincidentally, we're going to be showing off uh, more solo mode stuff uh, this Friday, the 10th. Uh, so if you want to see some solo mode shenanigans, hopefully the fourth boss will be unlocked by then. I would hope so. We only need a couple hundred dollars. But uh, yeah, we'll be showing off solo stuff on Friday. Um, as usual, uh, our community manager, who is currently joining me right now, Yampy, will be there. And say hello, Yampy. Hello, hello. Yay. Um... And we will also be fighting each other with robots today uh, on this stream. Uh, let's see. So, so far we've shown off Ashla and Ethrael in one of our previous streams. And then on Jamie Daggers' stream uh, last week, if anyone tuned in for that, we showed off Gannett's team. And now we're going to show off Indrix and Salazar, and that will show off all of our AEGI kind of pre-con teams in the box. Uh, these two are kind of cool. They are, uh, these two are uh, teams cool. kind of built around status effects. Uh, well, one of them, Indrix is the tricky team. Uh, Ashla punches people. Ganeth is a tanky team. Ethriel is good at moving. Uh, and Salazar is good at building a giant dragon robot. And Indrix is the kind of weirdo outlier. Um, he is like a tricky combo team uh, for tricky combo liking people. And... <clears throat> Both of these teams use the new mechanic in Aegis 2 called Blaze, which sets enemies on fire. And while an enemy is set on fire, uh, if they move or are moved by something, they'll take damage. This is kind of like Restrain from Aegis 1, but it's more interactive. Um, so, you know, set your opponent on fire and wiggle them. Uh, just set your opponents on fire and then run away from them, so they have to chase after you. Set your opponents on fire next to you, so if they don't move, they'll get punched even more next turn. Uh, all of these things you might see in today's stream. And uh, Indrik specifically also has the Rust ability on his team, and that uh, does the opposite, where it will deal a damage to an enemy that attacks while they're rusted. And so you can kind of do lots of like damage over time on your opponent's teams just by inflicting them with these statuses. And to, to do meanwhile... Salazar's team, I'm going to shoot you and I'm going to roll crits and I'm going to make giant robot. <laughs> and it's going to be great. Um, so yeah, we can kind of start. We'll do... We'll do... We'll show off Starpoint Arena again. Sure, why not? Always need more testing on Starpoint Arena and seeing how different teams interact with it. Uh... Oh, and my team also generates tokens, and I don't think we've really talked about token generation on any of these streams yet, but that's another new Aegis 2 mechanic. Um, if you hover over, yeah, that. Uh, yeah, so this is a Gon drone, uh, aka a Gon token. Uh, some of my robots will make these. They are one integrity doodads, and they will uh, have, have the beacon ability. They'll draw enemy fire and then die. And then some of my other stuff on my uh, team can do some goofy things with them. But uh, you're not restricted. To... Salazar is not restricted to a mere five robots. <laughs> he can have 5.4 robots. Um, it would be great. So we're going to do Star Point Arena again. You just choose kind of new game mode where you alternate activations and you try to capture points on the board and you roll a die to punch your opponent um, with different effects. Uh, we'll arbitrarily say that I go first, so I'll put my robots on the board first. 
and I'll do that. I'm gonna put my Unlike Aegis 1, Aegis 2's boards all only have five slots to place your robots on your start zones. We thought it was better that way, because what's really the difference between having like six spots or seven spots or five spots? You know, just gonna you have five slots and five robots. Um, one of many little quality of life sort of things that we improved here. Are you uh, all set up? Or, yeah, or... I'm going to put my EG and I robots next to each other because they combine into a big laser shrimp. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> and now I'm all set up. And now you set your robots up. And of course, if any Kickstarter backers are here, you're welcome to grill me with questions. You have my, my ears and attention. Um... You pretty much have my ears and attention at all times. I've had plenty of Kickstarter, you know, backers just DM me on Discord with, you know, feedback and things like that. They always message me on Kickstarter too. I see them. Um, very attentive. All right, I should be all set up. Yeah. All right, Star Point Arena. Uh, by a time we both make energy. I think my team makes nineteen. And then I'm going to start by doing this. So I'm going to move up two spaces. Cost me two energy. That's Aegis. And then you're going to... First, I'm going to roll the star die. I can pay one energy to roll this big die. Which is just a d6. In real life, you just roll any d6. But we might make a big fancy star die. And that lets me... I roll a two, and that lets me swap places. There's a reference card for that somewhere, right? Or... Uh, yeah, it's actually next to you. It's this one that looks like a rainbow. And... Ah, uh, there we go. I can swap places with an ally, so I'm going to put my green robot over there, just because now I can activate that star point later with my green robot. Um... And then I'll continue my Ikka's turn, my purple robot. My Ikka is a little utility robot and it lets me move other robots around it's an energy squid one of many good arts by gentrigger <laughs> it's when you if you want to if you want to hover that card um it's like hello again please draw me a squid with energy tentacles and Gen's like okay <laughs> you got know, some really good prompts here on ages too uh so whoop uh, each two or better lets me move a space. The cool part about this robot is if I rolled ones, it would give me the whole cost of the attack back. So if I rolled like three ones, I would pay three into it and I've got nine energy back and that would have been lit. But it's also lit to move my other robot because that will put this guy, my blue Ender 400, in range to capture this spot later. Um, But for now, that's the end of my turn. I have moved my purple robot. And currently in real life, you would just, you know, tap your cards to remember who moved. Uh, we're going to do something in our tabletop simulator to make it obvious which robot moved um, when we update it. Probably like making these little red things above them turn green or vice versa. All right. Hmm. Um, I may have made a question. Oh, you can wiggle your guys. You can rearrange your guys if you messed up your placement. It doesn't matter. Cause, well, yeah, because if I, if I swap the sides like this, then my SO can get to that star point number three, which seems like a good idea. Yeah. So we'll go Basically with just mirror match my turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I guess I will move my, well, you want your Ica in, a, in the corner like mine so you can walk on the thing and do the thing. I actually don't think I do because then I can't move Ooh. that. No, the SO can fly. So yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, so I'll move yep. the SO2 to there. Uh, pay one to roll the star die because everybody loves the star die. A one, which lets me <laughs> combine with any ally. You can combine for free. 
Would that... you like to end your turn and combine for free, essentially? Oh, and just for this test, normally, so if you're all one on the star die, you can combine that robot on the star point for free at any distance with another ally, and that's cool. But that robot can't score this turn. Um, this game, we're going to just, I want to try out just letting the combined robot score. It's one of those rules I made up to, because it sounded really bad if the new robot could score, but you know. If both players can do it, it's not broken, right? <laughs> All right. Well, I think I will, because why not? Let's let's try yeah. it out. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to make the Abaca, and yep. then I can Salvo, which the first oh, attack. It does the... Yeah, that does the thing you wanted to do anyway. Yeah, assuming I hit. but So I need uh, two dice and no ones. And if I miss, I just blaze something right yep that's so that there are no game. bad outcomes here yeah wow i <laughs> wish i had crit but Six. okay uh well then i can move abaca three one two three and then i can move is that a good spot how far can you you could just move it onto the star point the... <laughs> and then later you can activate the star point and then fly. with the so yeah that was definitely the plan there i'm trying to figure out where yeah. to put the abs so that your commander can't oh, shoot I at see. me but i think you shouldn't be able to shoot at me no matter what you do no i doubt i could reach you with like anything uh, all right if i yeah. walk up three spaces one two three four five see so yeah you're way out of range well then we'll call that a turn all right so that's cool um what do I want to do now? I want to walk up with AW400 with its double rocket fists. And I'm going to also just activate star point. So I'm going to go down to 12 after moving. I'm going to roll big boy. And then it lets me nuke something for three damage. Get nuked, uh, SO. Oh no. And that is probably my turn yeah that's my turn all right when you when you roll a three on the star point you can deal three damage to any other robot standing on a star point uh it doesn't count as damage to your opponents like hp if you kill it with them though it's good for softening things up so then you can deal the final blow later so now his so has to think twice whether it wants to do the thing Hmm. All right. I think I will go with my Shaw next. Move it three to there and do the wiggle tail on the targeting my targeting Indrix, I guess. Uh, so that's three dice and I need fours or better. And then each one lets me wiggle it a space. Uh, so I get wiggle one. <laughs> yep. One one space closer. You know every space helps, so Yeah. Uh and that's that activation. Yep, one of our uh Oh, did you wanna activate the star die on the oh, spot? Wait. Oh I did totally move it there. Yes, I would like to. Thank you for the reminder. Uh four, which is Move I can... any robot on a star point four spaces. That's mine or yours. Uh the ender is not on a star point, so yes. that's unfortunate. I can't stop you, but I could. Who do I want to move is the question. You can do some shenanigans and like put your E next to your AI robot and just make a big boy next turn or something. I could, but it can already... It hasn't gone yet, so I could just, like, yeah. move it anywhere normally. Honestly, I might, because the Shah has, is kind of slow, and it has trouble getting out into the field, so I might slide it four spaces to there. Seems like yeah. a good plan. All right. All right. Let's see. So then uh, these robots have moved. I'm going to also move my Shaw up and 
Oh, I don't know. One, two, three. Just to get it out there so I can shoot things later. No, I don't want to do that because I want to have that available for if you decide to go here on the three spot to shoot you with it. That's smart. I'm going to... You can't kill this Ender 400 at this point on this turn. So I'm going to move on to the star point. One, two, three, four. Which means at the end of the round, I will be able to... It'll deal two damage. No, not just deal one damage to you. One, two, three, four. Because it is a one-letter robot. Both players start at 11 HP. And destroying robots deals damage to your opponent one per letter. And standing on star points deals damage to your opponent one per letter. And you deal double if you stand on your opponent's colored spot. Um, and of course, I'll pay one to the gold star point. Uh, who doesn't like presents? Oh, <gasps> combine! <laughs> uh, what are you? What haven't you moved yet? Just Indrix? Uh, Indrix and the Esso. Okay. Hmm. I will also do something stupid and funny. I am going to combine these two together. Uh, I also want to actually, I want to highlight both of these robots real quick before I just combine them away. Can you hover over my Ender and my gun? We've been highlighting a lot of art from Noah and Gen because they did a lot of like the character, main character stuff. But like Zarin, uh, who did an art showcase stream today, which you can find linked on our like YouTube and Facebook and stuff. Uh, Zarin did a lot of the miscellaneous like basic robots all throughout the set. It's like Ender 400. It's cool. Uh, this design's kind of based on a ship from one of my favorite shows, Ovon Star Racers. Um, and then he also did this new gun, um, which is big chonkums, just big metal boy. And then similarly, I'm going to combine them together to make another Zarin robot. Uh, how did I do that? Um, I'm going to make Ender 3000, which is a bird. And this robot's cool, especially with the background we put it on. A lot of the artisanal Aegis stuff is figuring out what backgrounds these robots should go on. Uh, uh, it's a bird. It swoops down. It hurls you. And it also shoots at all different directions with its Ender 6 bullet rondo. Um, but for now, when it comes into play... Uh, I'm going to trigger two different combine abilities. One is my Gon 500. A lot of the robots that end in 500 have like combine abilities. So I combine with it and I can poop out a Gon drone uh, within six hexes. So is that true? Yes, yeah, six hexes away. So one, that's from the new robot always too. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do this? Do I just threaten you? I just, I'm just gonna bet on Indrix missing. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a 1 HP robot onto the, onto the EMP start zone here, and now that will deal 2 damage, um, which will be cool at the end of the round. But if EMP destroys it, uh, I will take damage as normal because it's a destroyed robot. So tokens are cool because you can use them to capture star points, but they're also risky because they count as dead robots when they get blown up because they have 1 HP. Um, so we're going to do that. Anyway, so I combine into this. Uh, at the end of the turn, I guess I also score because we're going to try that this game. Um, and then that's it for my turn. Yeah. And I think that's actually all... No, I haven't activated my, I haven't activated my commander yet. That's the only activation I have left. All right. I will go with Indrix and shoot at the gun. Uh, the question is, do I move Indrix first? I probably do. I need five to move with the Esso, so I have... Uh, yeah, so I'll move Indrix one, two, three, three. to there. And then with two dice, shoot at your gun token. 
and then what I need threes fours okay I need at least if I get a four it's gone all right we got one <laughs> it was worth it oh I didn't realize it was light I oh, could have well, shot yeah. before moving but oh well it probably doesn't yeah. matter that much Oh, actually, well, if you shot before moving, you yourself could go on to the star point. I could. I don't know what I would get from doing that at this point in the turn, but... Yeah. Uh, you could shoot my combined robot for three. Or That's wiggle it true. Off maybe, I will, yeah. maybe I will do that. So I should have... No, that would, I have a big boy camping on a star point, and so... The star die basically has like a 50-50 shot to like do something to try to wiggle campers off of star points. Or it'll Swap just make places. you slip off spaces. Um, hmm, that's interesting. I don't know if that's, uh... I could swap with the ESO if I wanted to take the center point instead of the side point, but I don't Ooh. know if that helps me. Or if that just puts it into ender killing range. Uh, and you, you'll you have the first turn next round, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I, you're going to go with Endrix. I'm going to go with Salazar. You're going to go with Esso. Yeah, I'll have the first turn yeah. next round. So I think I'm going to just play it safe. and uh, Maybe I'll swap. Eh, no, I'll just I'll just leave it as is. All right, cool. Um, last thing I have to do, uh, I'll just walk up with this and say go. I'll move up two spaces, so it'll just be in combined range. No, I'll move up three. Let's go over here, and that'll be it for me. All right, and then Esther moves up to the star point. Uh, so that's all of our robots at the end of a round. Uh, I'll take one damage because Esso is standing on a thing. You'll take two damage because my Ender's on a thing. And let's see, so we're doomed to nine to nine. And let's go first turn. What do I want to do? I want to shoot your Esso with something. Who's better? I can shoot you with Rocket Punch or I can shoot you with the Burnination Laser. Um, let's do, let's shoot you a Tyrant Blazer. Okay, so. That just makes sense. And if I miss, I guess I can try it again by combining. Anyway, I go back. Oh, that's right. Our energy changed too. Uh, I don't think mine did because Ender is really efficient like that. No, I actually gain. I forgot. If, I, if you make Ender 3000 on this team, you gain an energy. So I'm actually at 20 now. Um, what things did I roll? Uh, was it this one? Did I roll a one? Uh, I I didn't catch which ones you rolled. Chat. <laughs> hey, I'll do this again. Whoop. Oh well. Whatever. Sure. <laughs> Take a damage, I guess. Oh, you have jamming though. I do. Which attack was this? This was. Uh, it's just um shots attack. Uh... So I just need to roll one, but then I have reroll so. Let's see what else can you do to it can the aw aw can march up and attack it yeah i'll i'll jam it why not yeah may as well this is an important bot. well i did oh. it uh, so... uh you take an hp damage ow and then oh, actually, oh it wasn't that oh it wasn't isn't that supposed to be like dead wait because they don't it... redo it oh wait the what well, they probably got reset because yeah. of Thing. Well, it, I think some. I think I never. I think the tracker was on five instead of four for some reason. So yeah, it should be dead. Oh yeah. Uh, that is unfortunate. Ho, ho, ho. And now I'm good. And I need to take a valley damage. That throws a wrench into my galaxy brain plan I had for this turn, which is unfortunate, <laughs> but. Oh, uh, let's see. What do I do now, then? I probably attack the giant bird that's going to destroy me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can just... Uh, how What's my movement on that? Five? Okay, so actually I'm not close enough to just swoop, swoop over. 
to uh, that space if you leave it. I think. And also, my attacks are pretty short range on it too, so I don't even know how much attacking I'm going to be able to like do with it. I think we go with Indrix. Move two to there. Well, no, we activate the star die first because you always activate the star die. Uh, wow. I don't think Indrix. I guess I could make the. No. Uh, yeah, I guess you could make the SO, but the SO. Oh, I turn. could. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Okay, so yeah. no, nothing. Uh, then Indrix will move up two and then take a shot on your Ender. Whoops, uh, ignore the far left guy. <laughs> so these two. Uh, okay. So that's one hit uh, yep. for one damage and blaze. Yep. We'll see. My HP tracker is also on the fritz. Flip over. Alright, one damage and blaze. And that's his activation. Fire! It's a tanky ender. <laughs> yeah. Go fly, go zoom. Um, alright. Uh, what do I actually want to do? I want to... Do I want to salvo? How far can you move? One, two, three, four. And I can shoot Abaca. Do I want to engage with Abaca? I mean, just punches my teeth in. Yes. <laughs> but you're also far away. Uh... I should put you in range up here, so even if you take this spot, I can take that spot and vice versa. Uh, I will shoot Abaca with a twin rocket punch. So looking for threes are better. Six is crit. Oh, Ow. yeah. <laughs> take three. Um, yeah, not make Indri a Indrix isn't having, having a very good day today. Yeah, right. The uh, so yeah, Salazar's team only has like three damage dealing robots, but the three of them have crit, so to make up for that, um, let's see, let's go for uh, I think that's it actually. I just run over and toss hands at you. All right, I am going to shoot, go with my Shaw, and then um. Take a shot on your Ender with my Draco Blazer, which is two dice, and I'm looking for no ones. And that is indeed no one, sadly no crit, but I do one damage and stack a second blaze on your Ender. <laughs> and then I'm going to overload, since it didn't move, and then <laughs> use the Tail Wiggle on it, which is totally well, not called one. Tail Wiggle anymore, but I'm used to calling it the Tail Wiggle. I should probably call it Tail Wiggle. <laughs> I like Tail Wiggle. <laughs> as, the, uh, as the creator of the game, I have infinite power to have my robot attacks called Tail Wiggle. Alright, so what? we get to slide it two spaces, and it's going to take two blaze damage. And it dealt one damage with its top thing, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's see, so I'm at four, and now I'm at two, because yeah, you're going to move me, and that will make me take two damage. And then the blazes fall off, but yeah, now you can wiggle my robot wherever you want it to go. Question is, where do I want it to go? Um, and the answer is closer to Abaca, but not closer to my <laughs> number two star point, so. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, I could just fly over there. So I guess it's Abaca could still also just sprint over there and punch me. Um, I think two question. to there, maybe? Yeah, I'm still just as far away. Well, you could zoom over to there. and I, I guess Abaca could get there with its light action, potentially. So. Yeah, do I want to do that? Um, run over there and then just get shot at by Indrix, or just want to play it safe? Uh, two... What is the safest to just walk back onto this, I guess? Yeah. One, two. Buckle my shoe. 
And then I'm going to... I do not have light attacks. I only have two range on this guy, so I could... Well, actually, I, or I could just beat up your Abaca. And maybe I'll actually just get a really... Okay, so I'm here. And I could go... One, two, three, four. Nobody expects you to go on the attack and spend <laughs> the rest of my energy and fly in the middle of your dudes and pay four. Go down to two. I'm going to use the Ender 6 bullet rondo and fire. It's yet another Wild Arms reference. I think all instances of bullet rondo in this game, which I think there are like three, are a, that, that's a special attack in Wild Arms 5. Roll dice! Let's see a lot of ones. Uh, one damage. <laughs> Alright, I, I can live with that. <laughs> uh, however, Salazar's commander ability gives my combined robots a reroll, so I'm gonna... Uh, I missed. Okay. Well, one damage to both of you. Sadly, I was not able to just roll three goods and blow both of you up. That that was the gambit that I took. Uh, I am good. Alright. Uh, has Salazar activated? No, but I definitely can't do anything with him this turn anyway. <laughs> but if I moved Abaca onto a star point, you could. Could I? I think so, right? Oh, oh, you don't. Do you have enough? Oh, you don't have enough energy. Okay. <laughs> I have one energy, and none of my robots are on star points. Cool. All right, then, Abaca, we're gonna uh, spend two energy to do the double fire pile driver on your Ender. Try to get the kill. Don't I just you need. Dare. <laughs> I just need. No, I need both hits. Okay. Well, actually, no, I should. I should be able to do it with just one hit, actually. But, uh, we got one hit, so that's one damage and blaze. Yep. And then I will spend mm. another th two to do my light action. Also <laughs> targeting the ender. Uh, we want no ones. No ones. Hey, we got oh. no ones. Uh. So I'll slide the ender one space, killing it with the blaze damage. And then, yep, I take two because that's a level two robot. And then next turn, my robots will spawn back into play as the little single letter pieces. Because that's the cool thing about Starpoint Arena, is that your robots never die. You can all do all the dumb things in the world and not be punished for it, much like I just did. Um, And then I slide Epica onto this Starpoint. Uh, and then I have energy left, so I roll the star die, right? Because why not? Yep. <laughs> and that's a five. whoop de doo I wish I could transfer that to next turn, but oh well. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. Yeah, and then I think I guess I move up one space so I can be within combined range next turn. And say go. All right, uh, that's all my robots, so I think... Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that means you get to go first next turn. I like um, going first. But I take two, and so I'm down to five, and then you can... Yeah, I guess, yeah, you take first turn. Oh, I spawn my, I spawn my, my peeps in. So let's do you here, and you... Let's... Run it back. Let's see if I can just wiggle my ender forward and then do the thing. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, round three. Ready, fight. I'm All right. Back to 19 energy. I think I go with the Abaca first because otherwise it's going to die. Uh, I roll the star die because you always roll the star die. And we get a four. Uh, which, I mean, I guess... It accomplishes what I was hoping to accomplish, which is fine, unless I... Well, it has to be a star bot, so yeah, it's literally that's the only option. Uh, so I will... One, two, three, four, back to there. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's unfortunate that the range on Ica 4000's hookshot is not one space longer, but oh well. So then Abaca will move two spaces to there and then combine for seven into the Ica 4000. I was going to say, you could also just wait and do it with the SO later, if you wanted to be a little closer. That's true. But are, is Salazar going to go first and murderize my Abaca? Well, that's true. Well, actually, yeah, I guess I could kind of chase you down and get there, yeah. So I will do it now. Um. So as a combine action... I can Ica hookshot if I want to, which I think I do want to. Hookshot kind of right. So I'll target my Shaw with it. And then yep. the Ica hookshot lets me, I can pull it up on the stream so that they can know what on earth I'm talking about. But uh, lets yeah, me they move. showed this art on Twitter earlier. Another great, it's another cool example. We're, gonna, we're doing a lot of the, uh, the frame breaking and Aegis too, with like the robots, like the art sticking out of it, and like this is one of my favorite instances of that. Good piece by Mong, <laughs> giving you the wiggle fingers. But so I target my Shaw with that, which blazes my Shaw, but it does let my Ika kind of get out to somewhere where it'll be more useful in the future. Yeah, and that's my. Um... <laughs> like in a spot where I can shoot it with double rocket punch. Are you sure you want it there exactly? Oh, that's a good point. Because it can actually go, it puts itself in any adjacent space to your shot. Yeah. So you can kind of have the thickens of it. I guess I can make you choose. I, there's a good spot because then you have to choose between getting the star point or shooting me. Yeah, I'm definitely. Oh, that's actually a good point. Do I just want to like soften up your big lad? Uh, you have Jamming 2 and Melee Evade 2. I don't trust my odds with Jamming 2. Uh, so I'm going to go up two spaces. And then I'm going to roll the star die. Whoop. Three. Uh, nothing's on the star points. Okay, here we go. All right. I think I'm going to activate my Shaw. Uh, we're going to shoot the Draco Blazer at your awe. Wow, that keeps rolling. Can we? Can I get crit on this thing, please? That's like <laughs> so good. three sixes out of four dice I've rolled on this attack. Uh, so one damage and blaze on your awe. And then I'm going to mm -hmm. overload and do the tail wiggle. You definitely just need a commander that just adds crit to all attacks, and that's all it does. Alright, uh, that is two wiggles, so an extra blaze damage to your awe, and we're gonna... Walked into that one. Move it back off. And that's my hmm. animation. Unfortunate. Um, let's do... Activate my Ica. I'm gonna act pay three. I'm gonna mute its tentacles. Move my Ender. Let's see what happens. Uh, yep. Moves my Ender up up to three spaces. Gonna go there, and I think that's what I want to do. Or did I actually want to move before I did that? Yeah. No. Yes. Is it optimum to create big gun right now? No. Making tokens is bad for me right now. But you know what? Actually, well, we're here to do. We're here to show off the robot game, so I'm going to go, okay, so I'm going to say I moved up three, and then I moved my ender, and now it's there, and now I'm saying go. All right. Uh, I think I'm just, because all I have left is Indrix, 
I kind of want to save my energy for jamming because he can't shoot at anything. So that's all for me. All right, let's see here. I'm going to activate. I'll use my ender to activate that star point. Let's see what happens. Uh, two. I can do swippy swappies with Ender. Um. No, I don't think I will. And I will actually just say go. I'll say go. I'm finished with all my robots, so. Oh, cool. So yeah, that means I just that means you just continue. So I'm gonna pay one, go up here, uh, pay six. Or day five actually, and gonna combine into bird again. I don't like bird. And bird, and then uh, big bird, and then so one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to throw this gun drone onto this spot, so I can use it to activate star points later, as opposed to putting it in the middle where I'm just going to die and if you put I, it in the middle it would deal a damage to me because i i can't do anything more this turn but yeah that's true it's a, it's a free damage on you but then you like walk up with any of your robots and it gets splatted and true. Then I lose it. um so i think that's it everything right probably or did yeah i don't have I moved off first, and then I moved all of these jerks. I don't think I moved Shaw, actually. So I guess I'll move Shaw up. One. Here. Uh, let's go one, two, three. And then just move you closer so I can do the thing. All right. And all right, back up to 19. You take first turn. Or all actually, right. I get 20 this time. Um, so I'm making 16. I have an idea, but the best way to execute that idea is slightly unclear. Oh, okay, that's actually... Well, okay, I think, I think I'm going to go with Indrix first. Have to manage my energy carefully, but yeah, I think I moved with Indrix first. Yeah, Indrix is actually still at 5 HP and it has like jamming and everything. Oh, wow, he has five. He does have five. That's... Yeah. <laughs> he has a rubbery guitar body. <laughs> Maybe don't move. Well... Hmm. This is a tricky turn for energy management, but... Do I just move him up and bank on rolling a five or a six? Why not? Let's, let's go for it. So, I'll move him... Four to the star point, and then pay one to roll the star die, and we get a two. Do we use that? Is the question. Because I can swap places with my Ika and put it into the line of fire, but you probably can't kill it immediately or I can swap with the Shah which you probably can kill right because what's over here the ender yeah the ender can kill yeah. the Shah on a really good roll I can kill the Shah or at the very least I could just yeet it off of the space yeah I mean on an average the expected value of that first attack is two so I, yeah. And the Shah's at two health, so. Oh, I see. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. So, I think. Let's put Abaca there and see what happens. 
Well, I, who, who needs to think in a robot game? Just put big <laughs> robot on star die profit. <laughs> Thinking never got us anywhere. <laughs> um, and that's my activation. See. I'm going to... What do I want to do? I'm going... The first thing I'm going to do is going to activate my gun token. Which is kind of funny because the tokens have so many weird utility cases in Starpoint. So I can use the, this gun token to roll the star die. Six. Anything that I want. And that means deal three damage. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> um, uh, that's it. Okay. Um, Nuke. Hmm. Now so here's where you here's where you just hook shot to Indrix and then combine into the big stupid thing. I was definitely thinking about it. <laughs> uh I wish you were at lower health because I mean the I guess the chip like it is a great time to get the blaze on all your robots. I wish the chip was maybe a little like, I, oh, if yeah. you had a robot sitting at 1 HP, I probably would just do that. But might still be worth it. It's hard to say. I think... Or do I gamble? <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultimate thing. It's uh, It just is actually a push-your-luck game. <laughs> <laughs> Almost by definition. <laughs> Well, I guess if I gamble, I can't do the hookshot thing. See, my thought was if... Well, I guess I could mega gamble, but... See, I could <laughs> go for moving the shot here, taking the shot on your awe, hoping you don't kill me, then hoping I roll a 5 or 6 on the Ica's star die, using that to hookshot, and then combine. But that's a lot of, a lot of <laughs> ifs, and I don't think I'm ready to, like... <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll play it safe and then hook shot the hook shot Indrix. Oh, wait, I rolled the star die first because, of course, I rolled the star die first. Uh, so we got a four. That saves you some four energy. You can wiggle something. You could move my bird next I to you, could. and then you Ooh. could just start beating on it, but I don't think you can deal six damage. Hmm. I think I move your bird back where it can't get to the star point. Or you move my gun around the corner, you hook shot to it, and then you walk onto my base. True, but then your awe probably <laughs> kills. Well, yeah. I guess I could jam. It's oh, you can jam hmm. my crit. There's some risky for the bisky kind of. I don't oh, that's know what actually else kind of tempting. Do. Let's see. So if I did that, what could actually shoot me? I don't think. Well, Nothing. no. The one, two, three, four. <laughs> the bird would be able to move within range. So. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, it's true bird <laughs> yeah Go so i guess i'll move the ender back uh hook shot the gun or the hook shot indrix which is a success so i move to here and indrix is blazed and then i pay seven to combine into the ikasha <laughs> So this is one that we don't have final art for yet. Gen Trigger is working diligently on it. It's going to look really sick. Uh, it's inspired by... It's visually inspired by Gran Zimboa, the final boss in Gran Lagan. It's going to have like segmented limbs and it's majority purple fire. <laughs> Just purple fire with limbs coming out of it. It's going to be really cool. Um, but yeah, it's an AEIS type. Uh, it's one of our more bonkers robot designs in the set where all of its attacks cost X and you can just kind of dump energy into it into di in different ways to make it do different weird things. Uh, so it'll be cool. It's um, Indrix's uh, trump card. 
And on combine, it blazes all of your robots. It's true. All my robots are now on fire. So if I move any of them, I take damage. Which is most of... I haven't done anything with most of my robots, so... Uh, actually, I haven't done anything with like any of my robots, because I used the stupid drone first. So if I move any of my robots, it's just... It's a free one damage. Yeah, we do get uh, value out of that, at least. Yeah. Um, uh, let's do... That's all that thing does when it comes into play, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stupid <laughs> robot. <laughs> what, what does it do is the question. I mean, I guess you, I guess you bla triple blaze something, and then you use the bottom attack to deal three damage. I guess that's how it does damage. Wait, how yeah, does... You oh... <laughs> You damage buff itself, then you triple blaze and deal however much damage, and then you... <laughs> Incredible. Absolute galaxy brain design. Um, yeah, because the bottom one is a weird one because it uses an X cost in a way that no other robot in the game uses an X cost. Yeah. The, there's a lot of experimental design on this robot. Because the first two have ranges that are based on X, and then the other one, uh, the bottom attack, just moves up to that many robots based on X. So if you wanted, you could move like every robot on the board three Xs um, if you poured a bunch enough energy into it. Uh, it's, it's really, really goofy. <laughs> uh, so it's a level four robot for you. They're made to be like really hoopy doopy. Uh, let's go one two let's pay one energy and roll the star die what was that <laughs> the dice just did like a dance uh so i gain five energy i'm up to 23 let's pay six let's combine ender 3000 and ica 200 to make the Endergon, and the uh -oh. Endergon will come into play, not on a star point. Uh, actually, are you done with all of your robots? I have Indrix left, but only one energy to do things with him. Oh, okay, that's less threatening, I guess. So let's put Endergon into play. Uh, Endergon's one of the best arts in Ages 2, despite like our super deep fried jpeg compression on this tabletop sim mod that i have yet to fix but uh this is one by gen trigger uh background also by gen trigger and it's just this really cool energy shrimp <laughs> um so let's that comes into play i can poop out three more gone drones um within six x's yeah six x's so I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's do gun drone here and a gun drone here, and that's two free damage on this turn, I guess. Um, and what else? Where do I put the last one? Uh, back here where you can do no harm <laughs> to me. And so I have a big level three robot. That's cool. And now it's your turn. Uh, okay, I think I do nothing. Let's see, so I'm down to 17, and then... Let's go 1, 2, onto this, roll a star die. I'm popping off, I'm getting all these star point activations. Uh, 1... That's what I wanted to do anyway. So let's go and combine these two together, my Aw and my Shaw, to make a robot that should be called the Aw Shaw, because it'd be a funny attack, it'd be a funny robot name. Uh, level two Shaw, all right. Comes into play, Salvo. Uh, shoot your guy. And what does that do? That, Salvo lets me use all my attacks. Yes, Crows, we noticed that you're here. And then uh, we're going to 
Inferno Blazer. We're going to Inferno Blazer first. We're going to try to set you on fire because that's what's happening here. We're just setting each other on fire. <laughs> Uh, I wow. did it. Uh, jam attack? one of those. Jam one of those sixes. <laughs> That's smart. That's why you saved your energy. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. That also makes my attack miss. Okay. Jamming comes through again. Uh, and then I'm going to. I guess I'll wiggle you a bunch of spaces away to make your life inconvenient. No, I can't. There's nothing in two range. Um, I would have missed anyway. So. That's that turn. You take four. Ow. And that will put you down to just slightly below me. <laughs> Behold, the great equalizer. And now <laughs> this is the turn where you're going to probably kill both of my gone tokens. And maybe you can probably win this turn if you galaxy brain it hard enough. I'm certainly going to try. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> <laughs> so uh it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be an awkward one to do but we'll see what happens uh yeah so you start okay so i only have 11 energy to work with which makes things kind of problematic but um what do, do? <laughs> um just you mosh moshy and then you wiggle all your guys off it's a light attack so you can move afterwards yeah sadly I th this robot doesn't fly <laughs> oh it can count itself though you can move itself yeah with mosh -mosh. um the main question of the hour is what to, what i can do about that cha if I can if I can solve the problem of the Shah, I can probably win the game, but I don't know. Uh what's the problem with the Shah other than that it exists? Uh it can chuck me off the star point. Because if oh. I can move Indrix to that star point and Ikasha to that star point, I win. But mm -hmm. if I don't think I win if Unless Ikasha is standing on a star point, at least. And so I have to figure out how I can get it on a star point and not knock off a bull by your Ender or your Shah. I mean, I guess, does it have jamming? It does have jamming, so... Jamming the Ender is maybe a workable idea, actually. Well, so my... Which, uh, my gone tokens only move two, so if you succeeded in moving all of them off of star points, they couldn't get back onto them <laughs> if you use the mosh attack. Kind of funny. Okay, so I think... Do I really do four dice on the bottom attack, though? I feel like four dice is probably going to fail. A little risky. Because this thing doesn't have flight, I also feel like that's kind of what I need. Because I need to get it over to that star point so that your Shah can't chuck it off. Do we give this thing reroll X2? Just because, just to lean into it. I, w I wouldn't mind it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it could use it with that bottom attack, but yeah, that's funny. Oh, and there's, I guess I could go with Indrix first. But... <laughs> Give it X movement. <laughs> <sighs> These are the. Hard, hard decisions in this game. That's true. I, I want to just roll four dice on the bottom attack, but it's going to fail, and it's going to be a waste of energy, and then I'm going to be sad. And... We can say that... Actually, I guess we don't know how recharge works with X cost attacks. Um, How much health? Shaw is five health. Hmm. 
I'm getting a different idea here, maybe. That has possibly more promise. Uh, so I need... Yeah, what the hell does this robot do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think... Okay, yeah, you party hard into Burnination, party into Mosh Mosh Mosh. Yes. <laughs> so the question is, how much do I spend on each? Because it, it'll take me four. Well, I guess if I Mosh successfully with two dice, it'll take me... <laughs> <laughs> one energy all right i gotta i gotta like pull out my like start taking it okay so i need one energy to move <laughs> two <laughs> two to mosh uh let me let me give myself copy pasting privileges there we go <laughs> um which means I have up to eight energy to throw into party hard and burn a nation party. So I could do like, and I want to roll the star die because of course you want to roll the star die. So seven energy. So I do like maybe f four party hards and three burn a nation <laughs> parties. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Let's let's see what happens. Uh, so I roll four dice. I should, just, I should also just make all these attacks radial. Why aren't they? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> four dice for party hard targeting Indrix. That is oh three God. successes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting there. <laughs> all right all right so what did you just power up uh indrix oh, and ikasha so both of them have a plus three damage buff which yeah. is absolutely insane it's incredible <laughs> I, I like this robot already how how have the, i've been sleeping on this for so long all right so we do that then we did i mess up no, it's fine. Okay. No. We... We're off to a great start. <laughs> so now all of no, your attacks... No, I did mess you up. Oh, mess did up. you? Uh, I think... Also, all the attacks are light, so it doesn't really matter, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, okay. So I move one before... I guess I would have to move the one before attacking anyway. So yeah, okay, that works. So I move one... I chuck three energy <laughs> into into Burnination Party. Wait, yeah, at 11, I spent four. Yeah, three into Burnination Party. Is that right? Or can I do... Yeah, you do. Well, you only... Uh, it's, it's not I can actually do four. Into it's not three damage per hit. So it's gonna deal. Z it's gonna deal three damage, regardless of how many hits you get. So yeah. it's really you trying to figure out how many of these it's gonna take to get you a single five or better. Oh no, I did math wrong. It is. I only get. I only have three energy to spend on it. If I want to roll the star die, which I kind of do, because well, most, I mean, I could go for. Eh, let's let's go for rolling the star die because it's fun. Hey, we got one. You got it. All right, so. Sha 1000 takes three damage. I'm at two. That's burned three times. All right. And then. Triple blazed. Moment of truth. Two dice into mosh, mosh, mosh. <laughs> uh, we need no ones on either of these two dice. Hey, and we got it. <laughs> we did it. All right. <laughs> That's a dead. All right. Dead... So that dies. I take yeah. two. I mosh. Ika Shaw three spaces onto the star point, and with my last remaining energy, I <laughs> roll the star die, and I think I hope for a five so that Indrix can shoot something for like five damage this turn. <laughs> hey, we got it. Okay. Um. Yes. So that's. I will take my five energy and be very happy. 
All right. Uh, I have three activations with which to try to pry you off of that space. So. Oh, that's true. Or do you do you want to make that two activations? I have like a lot of activations. I have a lot of star activations with these stupid drones. Um. Let's do. It's up to you. What would you like to do? Wait, what do you mean? I don't know if you want. I don't know if you wanted the five energy still, or if you wanted to like new. Oh. Or, or something. Uh, I feel like. Hmm. It's a good question, but Intrix. Well, I guess Intrix can't. No, he could. Yeah, I'll I'll stick with the five energy. Well, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm at. Thir I have thirteen energy to work with, and basically no robots. So we'll see. Yeah, what actually, I do need to think about this. I guess because Indrix can't mm. kill a Gondrone and move on to a star point. Yeah. So. I guess it would be safer to just nuke something. That's less fun, though, but... Eh. No, I'll just take the five energy. Why not? Yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, let's activate this. I'll activate the center gondron. I'll pay one. I'll roll some dice. I got the dreaded <laughs> four. I don't think I lose this turn. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Oh no, I can't jam that. Unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Just be able to jam the star die. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be funny, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess Indrix is gonna go. Do I just... No, you can't move five. Okay. So I guess I just kill one of your this, gun drones. I guess this, I... One is yet, this one's yet to activate. Yeah. But does hitting one that is yet to activate do anything? Because it can't touch me anymore. Because Ikisha is oh, not I... on a star point. Yeah. So really, I just be getting... Oh, I could get swippy swappies. Oh, that's but true. It, it doesn't really matter because either yeah. way, I can fly my level three onto that spot. But <gasps> maybe I win this turn. Who knows? I guess I will shoot that one then with Indrix. So move up one and then throw two dice. Uh, it's definitely dead. Yeah, <laughs> four damage. <laughs> Two. Um, but I think then is that it? Do I? I guess the would the strategic play have been to shoot that one instead, and then you can't just move on to the space. Uh, I think I have enough. Well, movement, don't I? One, two, three, four. Oh my god, I don't. <laughs> but I guess Do you could just move. This, this one, one off, off the space, and then yeah, so and then just do the thing. Well, actually, no, I will. I I think I do shoot this one because if you move this one off the space, right? You yeah. You can't get it over to this other space. Yes. So that does seem to be the. That makes sense. All right, so I guess I'll start by. Uh, I guess I'll just do this one. We'll see what happens when I activate this gun drone. You roll a one. Two. Swippy swappy this guy with an ally. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, Elmeo. <laughs> 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 We're gonna Rube Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I guess let's activate. Just activate star drones, all the star points all day. Uh, six. Let's forget if moving with flight robots does the thing that you would expect it to. Either way, I can go like this for, and then, and then I then I go up. 
that was three energy plus four. So yeah, okay, I do that. I activate this starter and thing with my thing. Uh, I get another thing. Uh, <laughs> do nothing. Sadly, I could have made Ender Gun shut this turn if I did not die horribly. <laughs> um. Yes, I think that's it. Yeah, I think I, I think I checkmate you there. But yeah, yeah. Gun, drone, <laughs> gun drone strong. Uh. Unless you kill them, in which case Gondron's very bad for me. <laughs> they give it and they take it away. Yeah, Ikasha is interesting in that it doesn't have crowd control. Yeah, it's very targeted. So I'm thinking I think I think the I think the top attack might actually just be fine as a radial. I don't think you want the bottom attack as a radial because then you'll more often than not be giving your opponents enormous damage boosts. <laughs> but the yeah. top attack would probably be radial. Um, I feel like... I mean, I guess I did just roll really well on that damage buff, but I feel like it wouldn't hurt to make it like a 5 maybe instead of a 4 up. Oh, what? the? Uh, oh, just the damage buff? Yeah, unless you want, you know, like plus two or three damage to be normal but it feels I like maybe think, five is more appropriate. i think that's fine because the, the level four robots often have an issue where you're giving up so many actions or whatever or so many opportunities to do things um with them so like letting them just have the strong stuff is usually okay um let's see but yeah, what a weird robot. <laughs> it's really funny. It's fun. I like it. Um, although it's just yeah, it feels a little hard to use with the with top the, attack uh... currently, unless you're fighting like, you know, like if it was fighting Ender Gansha, then it would probably. Well, I guess then the beacon would get in its way. So yeah, if it was fighting Ender Gansha, this thing would be not very helpful because. With Ender Gancho, you really need just, like, radial crowd control to, like, beat up a million Gon tokens. I mean, I guess, time. well, if you only roll one dice in Burden Nation Party, that wouldn't really help you because you're probably going to miss, but... Yeah. <laughs> Gamble. <laughs> Blaze! Um, we have X robots up to three hexes. Light. That's a fun one. But you want to well, know what doesn't miss? What doesn't miss, Crows? The Aegis theme song! It's true! What a banger! <laughs> right? <laughs> it's the top hit of all board game theme songs. <laughs> Everybody welcome Crows and Nad the Fox. The work the 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 the, the, the pr I don't even know what you guys did. <laughs> Crows wrote the lyrics. I know Bosch made it's the song. You did the melody, whatever that is. I'm not a music PhD. <laughs> so Crows did the melody and the lyrics. Mm -hmm. With Bo with uh, Hatch. Yeah. And then Bosch did the music, and uh, Nad did backing vocals and that sh a killer shredded guitar. Yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Thank oh, you, boy. Nad. Oh, Just right. like that guitar riff, Nad is shredded. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think that actually wraps up our that wraps up our little demo stream tonight. Anyway, uh, you got to see Ikasha do some weird stuff. Um, Indrix's team is cool. Uh, Salazar can poop out these tokens, which are pretty good and or bad in Starpoint, depending on the situation. And I think we call that gameplay. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's nine or eight days left or something. Uh, what a wild month it's been! I'll tell you what. Uh, Seven or eight days left. That's yeah. That's so little time to back Aegis right now. I know. There's just so little time left. Everyone uh, should just go and do it right now on Kickstarter. Correct. Everyone should. Every single person on the planet should back this game <laughs> on Kickstarter. So we can get to our next stretch goal, which is a fourth uh, solo boss. 
Um, Come on, guys, play like Motley Crue and kickstart Age's heart. Yeah. Uh, and we do you want to know what they should do after uh, two weeks later after Aegis ends? What? What happens? They should go find the Pocket Paragons Round Two Kickstarter with the Aegis box re being reprinted in it and back that too. That's one hundred percent true. Everyone should go do that thing that you just said and go back the Pocket Paragon <laughs> Kickstarter. <laughs> and hopefully, Solace Game Studio can make a lot of money, and then we can get a second Aegis pocket paragons box made with the ages two characters in it they've already been designed so uh yeah uh with the power of money we can make all of these really cool games hey breeze 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 yes, can, can i be an ages two character no oh <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, that's our stream. Uh, thank you, Yampy. Thank you, Crows, regrettably. Thank you, Nad. Uh, and thank you to all of our amazing 700-some-odd backers. You are the 700 greatest people on the planet, and we appreciate you every day. Um, because without you, there would be no game. I can't just make this game by snapping my fingers i need i need money <laughs> and uh and your support and players because without players a game is also just an art piece i guess um it's more like a book that doesn't have a binding and like <laughs> what is a game without players <laughs> philosophically uh what is a man <laughs> what is a man? uh so we'll do miserable pile of secrets so the yeah, tune in again on Friday when we um, do the uh, the solo stream, Aegis 2 solo stream. Um, we're going to show off some of the more. We're going to actually show off some um, bosses that you'll find in the box, and they'll be much cooler than the sort of demo boss that we showed off last time. And, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a great Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>